So after episode 123 and 124 of Dragon Ball Super, there may be some confusion. And rightfully so about Dispo's power, about Frieza's power. And as we all should know by now, Dragon Ball Super's power scaling consistencies don't have the greatest track record. But I'm here today to bring forth the information and try to discern how strong Dispo is. So to do this, we need to go way back to Resurrection F, when Frieza was on his final form, fighting Goku in his base form. Now they were pretty evenly matched until they transformed into Frieza's golden state and Goku's blue form, and even then they were fairly close. You know, Frieza was stronger, but he had the stamina issues. Fast forward all the way to episode 95, when Frieza is resurrected for the 24 hour period. Specifically, the very end of that episode when Super Saiyan Blue Goku goes up against Golden Frieza, they knock each other out, indicating that they are about equal. Now going into a little bit of Dispo. Fast forward to episode 104 in the Tournament of Power. Dispo is getting the upper hand against Hit. Now Hit, as we've seen previously, is about equal to a Super Saiyan Blue Goku just like Golden Frieza. So he is up there in that level in range of power. Now Dispo is getting the upper hand on him. Now this is mostly due to Dispo's speed. He has a massive advantage of speed as well as being able to counteract Hit's time skip abilities by listening to his like muscles tense up right before he does the time skip. So yeah, Dispo's main advantage here is his speed and his ability to counteract the time skip. Now during this, Goku jumps in the way and saves Hit as a Super Saiyan God, which Super Saiyan God is shown to be above Super Saiyan 3 level Goku and a massive power increase. So he saves Hit, pushes Dispo back, but Dispo still has a speed advantage over Goku. Now, if you compare Super Saiyan God Goku to Hit, we know that Hit is relative to Super Saiyan Blue Goku, so at this point, Hit is a lot more powerful than just Super Saiyan God Goku until he goes blue. Now, Dispo still has a huge speed advantage while fighting Super Saiyan God Goku. Now, the important thing here is that during this interaction, Goku transforms into blue to attack, suggesting that he needs the power of blue to A. hit Dispo or be fast enough to hit Dispo and two. be strong enough to damage Dispo. Otherwise, there would be no purpose to turn blue in the first place. Now, later on in the episode, Hit finds a way past Dispo's speed and is able to trick him into thinking that he's using the time skip and just beat him to a pulp. This again shows us that Dispo is not as strong as Hit, aka a Super Saiyan Blue level character. That being said, we have an interesting line from Whis explaining Goku's transformation from Super Saiyan God to Super Saiyan Blue to attack. And he explains that Super Saiyan God has more speed than Super Saiyan, but doesn't consume as much stamina as Super Saiyan Blue. Now this could suggest that Dispo might be even less than Super Saiyan God levels of power. Whis could be implying that Super Saiyan levels of power from Goku are enough to damage and defeat Dispo, but his speed is so much more greater than his power that Goku needs to go Super Saiyan God to at least keep up with him a little bit and Super Saiyan Blue to boost his power and speed more to be able to hit Dispo without him dodging it. However, he also says in the same statement that Goku turns blue to maximize his speed and power. So again, this suggests that Goku needed to go blue in order to maximize his power to damage Dispo. Finally, episode 124, Dispo vs. Final Frieza, Dispo vs. Golden Frieza, and Dispo vs. Golden Frieza and Gohan. Now Dispo, it's been showing that he's handedly defeating the Final Form Frieza, knocking him through walls and such. However, we have the line from Frieza saying, you really think an attack like that's gonna take me down? Because realistically, from what we've seen with Dispo against Super Saiyan God Goku and Blue Goku and Hit, he really should be getting the upper hand on Final Form Frieza. 
which he is, and you could chalk Frieza's line up to just his cocky attitude on top of the fact that he still has his golden form. Furthermore, we have another confusing line from him saying, if we keep going like this, we're just going to drain each other's stamina, man. So how about this proposal? Now, the way I interpret this is just Frieza trying to be manipulative here and see if Dispo will go for his proposal for Frieza to help Universe 11 if they wish him back to life. Because considering that Dispo was going toe to toe with Super Saiyan God Goku, he was pushing him back, he's strong enough to push Dispo back to at least scuff up, hit a little bit. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense for a final form Frieza to be as strong as a Super Saiyan God Goku, unless he's really just gotten that much more strong since episode 95. So moving on, Frieza transforms into his golden form and gets the upper hand on Dispo, and it is even stated by the Universe 11 Supreme Kai that Golden Frieza is faster than Dispo at this point, as well as Frieza's line saying that his power will never match up to Golden Frieza. So this in turn kind of implies that Golden Frieza is at least faster than Hit. However, we have a power up for Dispo. He is now much faster and now is laying the beat down on Frieza. Now, like I said before, he has to be a certain amount of power to be able to damage these guys, to be able to push them back. However, this is the arc that has Master Roshi pushing back Final Form Frost, so there's a lot to be open to interpretation here. But to me, you have to be a certain amount of power to be able to push somebody back or damage them. So Frieza is in a bad spot here. Gohan jumps in to save him, however both Gohan and Frieza are still having trouble with Dispo's speed. So what do they need to do? Concoct a plan to limit Dispo's movements so that Gohan can just wail the crap out of him. Now, it is interesting that in this cage, Gohan is getting the upper hand on Dispo now, suggesting that yes, Dispo's way faster than them, but in terms of power, he is not as strong as Gohan. So we all know what happens after this. Frieza loses his stamina, the death beam cage is gone, Gohan sacrifices himself to eliminate Dispo. So how strong is Dispo? Considering what we've covered, that he was pushing around hits, Goku felt the need to go Super Saiyan Blue to hit him and or damage him. He needs to have enough power to be able to take the hits from these guys as well as push them around to a point of almost eliminating them. With that said, I personally put Dispo between Super Saiyan God Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Goku. I know that's a pretty big gap, but uh, there could be arguments saying that he is even less than Super Saiyan God and it's just his speed that kind of takes them off their guard a little bit and allows him to be able to push them around and stuff like that. So uh, where do you guys think Dispo is in terms of power? Let me know in the comments. I hope you found the video informative. Subscribe to the channel and take it easy.